Well, hello. It's so great to see so many of you here today that are invested in the well-being of our great county. I'm Commissioner Libby Zabo. I'm the commissioner in District 1, which is the northern end of the county. I grew up in Jefferson County and now live in Arvada, and it's my greatest honor to represent you all. Jeffco has been the place I've got to live my American dream. Growing up here, I know firsthand how important the county is to all of you here in our community. The county's programs and services touch so many facets of our lives. As we together create a future where Jefferson County is more resilient, it's critical we continue to be excellent stewards with our resources and your precious tax dollars. In order to do that, it takes the work and collaboration of many county offices and departments, such as those we just heard from, the assessor, the treasurer, and the clerk and recorder, and some we'll hear from in upcoming video segments, like public health, district attorney, and human services. We must all work together to proactively plan for the challenges ahead of us and not just react to what happens. Building resiliency is all about facing our challenges head on and working towards solving today for tomorrow. By knowing what our community wants and needs 10, 15, 30 years down the road. That's why we hold events like this. So we can work together with you all with the goal of making Jeffco the best it can be. Did you know about 13% of our workforce is eligible to retire this year? And close to 40% will be eligible in the next 10 years. Leadership development and succession planning are our priorities to ensure we can use this as an opportunity to build resiliency in the future. Instead of automatically filling vacant positions, we will be evaluating opportunities to be innovative and more efficient while delivering the same great services we do now. These are steps we take to proactively shape our community. We also strive for resiliency and responsible growth and development. This is through stewardship of counties natural and man-made resources, as well as responsible fiscal planning and service delivery. Planning, developing, maintaining, and enhancing the county's transportation system and infrastructure is a big priority. Making sure we keep the county's policies and procedures up to date is also a priority. With a growing population, keeping traffic moving is certainly not an easy task. Collaboratively funding transportation solutions is something that everyone has on their mind today. We need to figure out that piece in order to sustain our current infrastructure and keep up with our growing county. As part of West Connect Coalition, we're working together with our partners to address transportation across the region, not just in Jeffco. West Connect is a great example of how the collaboration approach is working well towards solving our multimodal transportation needs. The health of any community is its economic development plan. We must secure a balance of residential industrial and commercial development in order to have a tax base to serve the needs our citizens expect. The commissioner, commissioners and I are working with Jeffco EDC and so many of you here today on creating that balance. We have a vibrant and thriving airport. Jeffco Airport, AKA, Rocky Mountain Metropolitan Airport. <laughs> we just launched an agreement with Shelter, the world's third largest fixed-based operator, to bring a second aircraft fueling and servicing to the airport. 
The agreement, along with the airport's sustained growth year to year, we will most likely see the airport become the third busiest airport in Colorado in the next year or two. <clears throat> As the airport continues to grow, the economic impact to our community grows exponentially. The annual tax impact of Rocky Mountain Metropolitan Airport totals more than $12 million to our community. The Rocky Mountain uh, Metropolitan Airport economic contribution to the communities serves is $460 million in output and 2,670 jobs with an annual payroll of 154 million. Those are impressive numbers. Jefferson County also works alongside our municipalities and businesses to create a thriving business climate that brings great jobs and a well-trained workforce. Verve is the example of that economic opportunity. The Verve, as it is known, includes 600 acres of aviation and non-aviation land available for development at our airport. It is now home to FedEx Ground. The Pilatus expansion is complete. Arby's and 7-Eleven are both serving happy customers. We are also doing a lot at the airport to build resiliency under Paul Anslow's leadership. Thank you, Paul. We are reorganizing staff shifts to be more efficient and to provide more coverage. Using less equipment more often, consolidating equipment to a central warehouse, renting out hangars currently used for storage to increase our revenues. We are taking advantage of grants from the FAA and CDOT, increasing revenues from multi-revenue streams and diversifying. We've created a foreign trade zone at the airport. The Air and Ground Festival, which everybody knows is the air show, was a huge success this year. 25,000 people showed up. And I bet you more next year. I'm gonna shift gears a little bit now. Another one of our goals is to encourage and enable self-sufficiency within our community and to foster safe and healthy communities. Jeffco Prosperity Partners is one example of that program. It addresses the goals with a combination of empowerment and development of social capital and a primary emphasis on education for both parents and children so that these families can achieve lasting success. I want to thank you again for being here. And I hope you all get home safe because it's going to get crazy. <laughs> anyway, that's what the weathermen say. Who knows? In, in the next video segment, we will hear from Public Health and the Library, two entities whose importance in fostering safe and healthy communities is critical.